Hello guys, uh, I'm Jose and this is tutorial number six on conditionals. Um, so okay, I'm gonna start with uh, what we left off in tutorial number five, uh, where we had um, a nested for loop, um, where we were using ellipses to build a grid. So you can check that tutorial, um, and we will do some some modifications. We will remove. Um, one of the for loops and just type 200 in the y coordinate of the ellipse so we can get a, a row of um, ellipses right so in this case within this parentheses uh, the variable i is actually changing starting from 0 and reaching to 20 so let's think of the idea of a conditional let's say that we want uh, something to change um, if something happens. Um, we can specify now, for instance, the fill of this ellipse. This represents the inner color of the ellipse as red. Right? Um, in this case we're gonna get red spheres. Um, but we can do an if statement uh, to specify this color. We can say if uh, I inside this parenthesis that I'm writing we will write the condition that has to be achieved uh, so if I um, is smaller than 10 we will paint it red um, else we will specify fill with another color um, so for now we'll leave it white, right? So let's look at this if statement. It's saying uh, we know that i starts in zero and reaches to twenty. Um, so first uh, i will be zero. Is this smaller than ten? Yes. So the field color to paint the ellipse will be red. This is the code for red. And else means if you don't reach this or you you don't achieve this condition this is the um, what would happen if you don't get to that condition right so let's see if this is working um, right so we're specifying a way of really doing some change here um, and using our eye that we know here it's nine and then eventually when it it's not smaller than 10, it is 10, it starts painting itself white. So um, we can really use this structure uh, to change the behavior um, under a specific condition. Uh, another way of writing this, uh, more specific, we can use an else if to specify more conditions, let's say if i um, is bigger or equal than 10 uh, and we will use also the and here typing in this command we will say and i smaller than 15 we can specify uh, maybe that this sphere is blue right um, and again we will have to specify an else the else it's not required but if you want to have control over what happens if this condition is not met uh, it's good to add it so we will say white will be the condition. So we're looking at this. Uh, we can add as many else if statements as we want. So we specify initial if, some more specific condition, if condition uh, afterwards, and then eventually the else that is kind of the exit statement. So let's look at what we're getting right now. Right. So in this case, uh, we're specifying an initial condition smaller than 10, red, perfect. 
then we're specifying if i is bigger or equal than 10, right? And is smaller than 15, become blue. That's the condition. And else, if n neither of these two conditions are met, paint the sphere white. So in this case, we have quite a lot of control. We could call these gates to start uh, seeing when an event or when some change happens. So this is the video on conditionals or if statements.